Okay, so we are going to use the fiber fix to fix the frame on the golf cart right here. So let's look right in here. Let's look right down in here where the frame, let's so make sure you can see that part right there. This part right here, the frame is, bro is broke right there and right all the way over here, right in there, this frame is getting loose. So we wanna fix this. This one is bro this one snapped. But instead of trying to screw through flimsy things right there, we're gonna take some of the fiber fix and we are going to put a, we're just gonna wrap it and reinforce it through here. So what you do with the fiber fix is right here, you take, you put the gloves on. Always gotta wear the gloves because it's, you know, whatever chemical they use in here, I don't want on my skin. Open the pack, this is the roll. You take it, you dunk it underwater for 10 seconds. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Now this is the medium wrap of fiber fix. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, we're gonna put it in here, let me see this, we're trying to set the flashlight. I'm gonna start under here. Okay. This stuff mostly binds to itself. So, because I can't sand the whole thing in here, we're gonna get it to bind to itself. So we're gonna take it and wrap around the different parts that I need to be fixed. So mostly this frame. I need this frame to bind to that piece. Now the medium one gives you a little more length and a little wider. So that's why we're using a medium one of it. So we're gonna come around this way. Now this isn't the prettiest fix, but when this stuff dries, it dries almost like a, a weld. So, we're gonna get a couple wraps in here. Make that one a little more loose so it can fit the battery a little more secure. Another wrap this way. And we're gonna go under here. Careful not to catch any of the wires in it. And we're gonna wrap it back out. Now, if you can see there, I tried to make a little groove for the battery to sit in like it usually does. It's a little harder with the wrap, but that's okay. Once this stuff is dry, it binds to itself. So once we get it wrapped, we're gonna smooth it out. That's the end of our roll. We'll take the piece and there's, at the end it's wrapped back over itself so you get a little more out of it if you pull that. And we're gonna take this, hook it to itself. And you see down in there, it's not quite tight. Oop, got my flashlight. And we're gonna take the black plastic that comes with our fix, and we're gonna push, and we're gonna smooth this together with our gloves as it dries. I can get some light on there. We're gonna smooth, with this part smooth to itself. You basically rub the pieces to each other so they bind to each other. Now, in some occasions when I'm not binding it to the metal, I've had to use two wraps. But in this occasion, if we push it together pretty well, I think it'll hold pretty solid. You can't even usually cut it once it's dry. So we're gonna give it a good, we'll keep pressing it here and we'll come back and check on it in just a minute. So it's been about five minutes. This stuff is getting really, like I can barely move it with my hand now, it's drying out. We rub the underside down so it's a little bit flexible, but that part's pretty, I mean like, like I can't get it to budge now. See this other spot right here, we're gonna take a size small of the fiber fix and we're gonna wrap it on there. Here, can you walk around the other side here? We're gonna take this little tiny roll. See, it's a thin one, not, not as long, but we're gonna take it give it 10 seconds and we're gonna fix this spot right there. While we have the batteries out, we're gonna give it a really tight wrap on that one. Well, as tight as we can for what we're wrapping it around. That'll hold it, that'll basically make a new 
set of, it basically holds like steel. My plumber tried to cut one of these when I fixed a pipe under the house and he couldn't get it to cut with his, with his pipe cutters. So pretty confident in this, how solid these things hold for. So this is, I, I brushed it off with, a, with my wire or my, my brush to get most of the um, like pieces of rust and whatever off it. That'll make it stay a little better. So let's see if we're gonna take the wrap and we're just wrapping it around here so it's stuck to itself. That's the main, that's where it gets its most solid hold is when they're, when it's wrapping against itself. So we'll go both directions almost like a little eight. Now you wanna make sure you keep the groove there for the, uh, you wanna keep the groove in there for the battery because if you make it too puffed up then the battery won't sit down low anymore. So you don't wanna do that. But, you see, We've got a hold in the corner here, and this is basically, it, it, it's gonna hold strong enough for a new weld. It's gonna break somewhere else before it's gonna break here, because we haven't, all the other things we've used it on, can't get it off. And again, get your extra little piece out of the bottom, and you unfold that last about four inches, and get a hold another little piece there. So the more times you wrap it, the better it gets. Now they give you a little piece of plastic to wrap around it to make it, to seal it together while you're letting it dry for about 10 or 15 minutes. In this occasion, I can't really get it to wrap around so I just rub it with my fingers so you can see the spot right there. So we're gonna pause and come back to it um, once it starts to dry.